Pit Ford, Gateway to the Ruins. This is a supplement for the Mutant Epoch role-playing game. And for some crazy reason, I keep on trying to be a redneck and call it Pitford. Um, I keep on saying stuff to my in my head like, Hey man, we we gonna go on down to Pitford and pick up Mikey. We gonna get some beer. I don't know why, but um, some sort of good old boy is trying to come out of me while I've been trying to make this video. So apologies, I believe, if I keep on calling it Pitford. So, let's get to it. There it is. This is all about this city that lies in front of these great ruins. Um, this book is great. This book, I'm going to be saying that a lot about Anthony Mutant Epoch, so just, you have to deal with me. Um, there's the back. You can see how it is. This is like a big old tank sitting out in the middle of a wasteland. Um, it's completely enclosed, and there's a basement level, there is ground level, and there's a top level. It's got tons of places to shop, to buy stuff, to get drunk, to get friendly lady services or work fellow services, um, gear, bullets, guns, robots, massages, um, water, gas, food, obviously, lodgings. It's got a ton of stores in it. And that's one thing that's really cool about it. You can use this book right here for any post-apocalyptic role-playing game, um, not just the Mutant Epoch. This is a very versatile book. It's about 200 pages. And every single location that's of worth, of note, has been given a great write-up. Every single one of them. Art for each one of them, roughly. It's got about 108 illustrations. NPCs that, are, that, uh, that run those establishments. And then one thing that's really cool is that it's got encounters for everything. It's got encounters for if you stay outside Pitford. It's got encounters if you stay within a couple miles of the city. It's got encounters if you're on the ground level, if you're on the basement level, if you're on the top level, if you're in this bar, if you're in this tavern, if you're in this hotel. Encounters, encounters, and they're all, once again, that Mutant Epoch random roll. So, when you get this book, sure it's going to have the stats for the Mutant Epoch, and they're great. But even if you are trying to buy something, there could be a random role. Maybe the, the robot, uh, guy who sells robots, he's only got a couple robots in, and this is the type of models he has. Um, maybe the fuel place, the fuel depot, doesn't have as much fuel you know, the, today. They haven't gotten in as much. Um, maybe, you know, um, some gear that you're trying to buy at a, at a store doesn't have their stuff in yet. So it's very much uh, a random roll, and um, you know, it's not everything's going to be the same when you go into these stores over time. Now, what this city is supposed to be is, for one, it can be a main hub of just adventures within itself. There's plenty of stuff to do in, the, in Pitford, and there's stuff to do, of course, outside of it. Um, but this can be kind of like your player's home base to go back to. And I can see this supplement being used really two different ways. One is very minutely played out, random roles, adventures, encounters, um, and it's a stand. It could be a standalone campaign almost, just staying within the city walls. Um, or you can use it very bare bones and let your players look at it. They're going to get, uh, they can, for one silver coin, they can buy kind of like a street map that you'd find at a store or a tourist shop. Um, it's got great maps, by the way. Of course, great art. It's William McGawson, so we know, you know what you're going to get if you've looked at the Mutant Epoch. Um, and it's got the surrounding area around there as well. Is You can just say, hey, here's the book, or you've got multiple copies of it. And your players, you know, there's, there's a lot of randomness in here, but it, it, there's nothing in here that's like, this is what's going to happen when you're here. Since it's all random, your players don't know exactly what's going to uh, affect them if they go ahead and read that section. Um, they may know that there's some, some, some areas here and there that um, maybe are hiding some stuff. So they want to just, they really just ought to look at the places that they're looking, um, tables for different stores, and use those. But, you know, it could be very, you could be used very uh, minimally. They could just say, all right, I want to go to um, Taylor's Eatery and I want to buy this, some food. 
I want to go to Tech Lords Robotics and see if, what robots they've got. And you can just have it in and out. Um, the, you know, the player's just in and out, uh, stay for a couple nights, get, get healed up. Maybe if you want to have some encounters in the, the local um, hotel that they're staying in, something might happen if you want to change it up, keep them on their, their toes. Um, and then they're out, and they're out in the wasteland, and they're, they're excavating stuff again. They're looking for, for stuff to, uh, to, uh, to get out there in the wasteland. It's got rumor tables. It's got tons of tables of stuff. Encounters, rumors. Um, you know, even in some hotels, and I like the way that, that William's written a lot of the book. Um, you know, he'll say stuff like, you know, some asshole broke a glass bottle. This is one of the random roles. Some asshole lo broke a glass bottle. Just very kind of matter of fact, very kind of uh, casually talking to the reader. And uh, that's fun. You know, it's it's a fun book. And it's one where, once again, it's just jam-packed full of stuff for you to use in your campaign, in a very short adventure, in a stop-off area. Um, while your players, maybe they venture into the ruins and they come back and they need to sell supplies um, you know, stuff they found, get supplies, uh, get refueled up, um, and then go back into the ruins for more adventure, more creatures, more mutants. Um, but some great art. There's some gambling rules in here that's really cool. There's a whole section on the jail, um, encounters in the jail. What's, who's your, your in, you know, who's your, uh, you know, uh, who's the people that are in the jail with you? There's some, some, some roles you can make for that. It's got a fully functional um, arsenal on top of the, the city. Uh, so if you wanted to do some sort of big battle, guys with machine guns up in turrets, um, shooting up against you know mutants or whatever's attacking the city, it's got that information. There is nothing I feel that is left out of this book when it comes to the city. It lets you know everything about it, and it's not bogged down in a bunch of government crap, really, that, you know, What's going on with these important people that run this city? It's just got a bunch of you got a bunch of places to to uh, to shop. Uh, there's a gladi gladiator type fights, gambling. Um, again, plenty of, of places to get drunk. Plenty of places to get uh, companionship. Um, there's some cool. There's like a, a post office type place, kind of like a um, you know they run stuff from to different cities. Um, so just a ton of, of information in it, tons of tables. Like I said, encounters, uh, encounter uh, tables everywhere. It's got an index, which is very good. Um, it's done by him, by himself. And it's just a really useful book, not only for the Mutant Epoch, but for any other post-apocalyptic game that, you're, that you might be running. So I highly recommend it, um, especially if you just don't know what to do in a city that's in a post-apocalyptic um, Game. A lot of people might be new to that genre, and so they don't know exactly what type of small encounters may happen on the streets, in a hotel, in a bar. And this is going to give you plenty of that information. It's going to let you know exactly what type of lifestyles are lived in a city uh, in the future that's been decimated, what type of people are out to steal from you, kill you, um, harvest your organs, um, give you some sort of terrible venereal disease. You don't want that. It's detrimental to the tenders. Um, it's a great book. Highly recommend it. Um, and, you know, I could see someone playing in around the Pitford area for many, many, many sessions, uh, if not months and months, just going into the city, encountering something, lots of NPCs, and this next little section I'm going to say here is maybe only for game masters, so if you're a player watching this, just kind of hit, pause it, or jump forward a little bit or something. So um, it's one thing that's really neat is that each of this, the, the businesses, it tells you where they stash their, their money. So if your players want to rob a place or do a heist or something, you know where they're keeping their, um, their silver, their ammunition, their, you know, their currency pretty much. Where are they hiding? In a safe, in a lockbox, whatever it is. So that's cool. And it's like that for pretty much every single location. So, all right, back. Um, great book. Uh, big fan. I like that you, if you get this book, you pretty much can make your own robots with a whole bunch of different parts, kind of put them together. Um, so that's a good little thing that's in it. Um, some good artwork really shows you how the, the layout is inside 
and um, some of the freaks that you'll be you'll be running into. Great if you want to really ratchet up your NPC talking skills with your players. Um, you know, bargaining. Um, you know, really taking the description of these uh, patrons of these of these stores and really having fun with them. So there's Pitford, fellas and ladies and whatnot. Pitford Gateway to the Ruins, the Mutant Epoch. I like it myself. All right, guys, later.